Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the latest edition of Wow Lynch Wow, dedicated to filmmaker David Lynch and inspired by the triumphant return of Twin Peaks. A friendly warning to everyone who isn't caught up on all five episodes of the new season of Twin Peaks, there will be spoilers and they will begin any second, so viewers and listeners be warned. Today, I want to start by talking about Shelley's daughter, Becky. We see Becky for the first time at the diner borrowing money from her mother. Norma watches on disapprovingly, and when Becky leaves, Norma reminds Shelley that this is the third time she gave her money in the last two weeks. Becky enters a car with Stephen the very same broken down who presented himself to Mike Nelson with one of the absolute worst resumes he has ever seen in his life. It was just a horrible resume. Just horrible. This resume is one of the worst written I've ever seen. And you didn't even fill out this form properly. Not even close. It's incomplete. It's worse than sloppy. So the first thing this lowlife does is he asks Becky how much money they got. And the language he uses with Becky, it reminds me an awful lot of the language Bobby often used when he was bullshitting Shelly, especially from around the time Bobby convinced Shelly to keep Leo around for the insurance money. Leo gets his disability as long as he stays out of prison. It's a lot of money, Shelly, over 5000 a month. I feel the same type of vibe here with Stephen and Becky. Oh. $72. It's zero. I'm good for it. I'll pay her back. So Stephen and Becky go on to escape the evil gaze of Shelly and Norma. We already know Shelly doesn't like this guy, because she said as much right before she reminded everyone about just how cool James has always been. No, you guys... My daughter is with the wrong guy. You don't know Becky. I can see it on her face. There is something really wrong. And we know that Norma and Shelly both know a thing or two about being with the wrong guy. Hank and Leo were total degenerates. And Bobby was hit or miss with the way he treated Shelly. Stephen at least seems to be treating Becky with civility, so that puts him a level above Leo... And he also seems to be more truthful and straightforward with her than Hank ever was to Norma, so that puts him a level above Hank, but he still seems to be a big step down from Bobby. At least Bobby tried providing for Laura and Shelly to some extent, but this lowlife Steven is just mooching off of Becky, and Becky is just mooching off of poor Shelly. Hey, Tara, I'm good for it. I'll pay her back. So Shelly doesn't like this guy, Norma don't like this guy, and even Mike Nelson doesn't care much for him either. What an asshole. So at this point in time, the only character we know who likes this scumbag Steven is Shelly's daughter, Becky. So they park in a secluded spot, and Steven tells Becky to kiss him. She obliges... And then he offers her a little toot. She initially looks surprised and a little disappointed when she learns how much coke he snorted that day, even though he resembled Ray Liotta from Goodfellas. Then she proceeds to do a quick bump of her own, and the lowlife Stephen is telling her how awesome his meeting went when Mike Nelson told him no one would ever hire him. You'd never get hired here, and I would never recommend you for any work, any place. Now you can get up and get your ass out of here. Then, in a vintage Lynchian moment, Becky's high kicks in, and she has a magical moment that inexplicably seems to be fueled by her love for this broken-down lowlife Stephen. Personally, this reminded me an awful lot of Laura Palmer in many ways. The entire vibe I got from Becky reminded me of Laura, and as such, I suspect Becky is going to wind up playing a pivotal role, and I suspect she will find herself in serious trouble sooner or later. Her future prospects certainly appear horrifying to me. 
We still don't know who Becky's father is at this point, but I tend to believe it's Bobby. My main reason for believing this is because I get the impression that Becky is special, kind of like Laura was special. And I think we have evidence of that in the Bobby Shelley duo, much in the same way we did with the Leland Sarah duo. While Bobby wasn't always a great guy, and he was never overtly special, we did hear about Major Briggs' vision of Bobby, and that vision brought Bobby tears of joy when his father described the bright future he saw for his son. Tremendous feeling of optimism and confidence in you and your future. Yeah. So we know Bobby is capable of being good, but we also know at the same time that Bobby is capable of doing bad. And in that sense, I think Bobby has a lot of parallels with the Leland character. So for Shelly, again, like Bobby, she was never outwardly special, but she was the only person whose voice Gordon Cole could hear. And I think that qualifies her as special in and of itself. You don't have to shout, I can hear you. I heard that. I, I heard that. And I can hear you honest, please. You don't understand. Good Lord, I can hear you perfectly. This is like some kind of miracle, a, a phenomenon. While Shelley might not be special in the same type of sense like Sarah Palmer, who was a receiver in a sense, who could see and receive messages from different lodge entities, perhaps Shelley seems to have some abilities that help her act as a transmitter of sorts. So is Bobby good or is Bobby bad? Or is Bobby still a little bit of both? We now know that Deputy Chad appears to be dirty, and he's involved with some shady characters like this guy here in the booth. Now, when I saw this episode, I had no idea who that guy was when this scene aired. But as many have pointed out, he was credited as Richard Horn. Considering how this guy just simply seems to exude evil... Is it possible that Bad Coop planted his demon seed in our beloved Audrey's garden? Hmm. So Chad gets the money, and we now have reason to believe that he might be the officer allowing drugs to flow down from the border. We can assume he's at least involved in some way, but is he the only one? Could Bobby also still be involved? Or is Bobby, perhaps, even the ringleader? I would like to believe that Bobby is fulfilling his father's vision and that he's on a righteous path. That was the initial impression I got when we saw Bobby crying at the sight of Laura's picture. But then again, Leland was always crying whenever something vaguely reminded him of Laura. So it's really tough to say. But right now, I'm leaning on the side that Bobby is following in the footsteps of his father, Major Briggs. At this time, I could very well be wrong, but I'm inclined to believe that Bobby is indeed Becky's father, and that Shelley probably wound up sneaking around behind Bobby's back with some other guy. Perhaps the guy who waved to her at the end of part two. It wouldn't be the first time Shelley snuck around behind someone's back, and as we said, Bobby didn't always treat Shelley with proper respect in any case, so maybe he deserved it. If my theory proves true, I'm fully expecting Becky to ask Bobby for some money sometime in the near future. So what are your thoughts on Becky? And who is your best guess for Becky's father? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Hope you enjoyed everyone. Thank you for watching and have a good night.